In today's video we will talk about a ranked game where we picked Hilda. And as usual, we will talk about all the good and bad decisions we made in the game, and what could have been done better. Also, if you want to play better on any lane and role, we suggest watching the following videos. The links are on the description. Remember guys, there is no such thing as a perfect strategy, especially when you are playing in the solo queue. All strategies, no matter how effective, have their own advantages and disadvantages. Here, we decided to cut the lane since Aldous is very underwhelming during the early game, and Hilda is capable of clearing minions quickly. We flickered to that direction in case Eudora used flicker herself. Would have been nice if we got the kill, but it's okay, as long as our team wins. We purchased the components of Blade of Despair first in order to improve Hilda's clearing efficiency. Hilda does not really need boots during the early game since she has fast movement speed, and most of her time is spent on the lane, which is why we got tough boots much later in the game. Since we were consistently cutting lanes, we were able to help our jungler take down creeps faster. The only problem with our strategy is Aldous would be able to gain stacks faster since we are not lane freezing. In our opinion though, that is not an issue since the developers decided to decrease Aldous damage from gaining stacks, and in exchange, allowed Aldous to gain more stacks from the minion wagon. Basically, they improved his early game potential, but decreased his damage in the late game. Since we have been cutting the lane efficiently and effectively, we were able to gain the highest gold and level in the game. Which means, we will have advantage against all of the enemies regardless who we go up against. Since our teammates were ready to take the turtle, we increased the pace and rush the minions in order for us to join them and help secure it. Remember, whenever the turtle is available, and it is close to your lane, try your best to help your teammates secure it. Back up. The calm before the stampede. If you're playing as a bulky hero, try your best to zone out as many enemies as you can, especially the enemy jungler. As long as you are equal or higher in level and have a decent amount of items, it should be challenging for two to three enemies to take you down. The best way of determining whether you will be able to reach the enemy minions or not is by checking the location of your own minions. Both the allied and enemy minions spawn at the same time, which means your allied minions should mirror the exact location of the enemy minions. Enemy missing. When you are an XP laner, make sure to ease the burden from your mid laner by helping clear their lane whenever they are not available. Doing so allows them to join team fights more frequently. Keep in mind that your main duty is lane management, and that involves not just your own lane, but the other lanes as well. We were supposed to choose Vengeance for this game, but forgot to select it during the draft. Vengeance was a better choice in order to greatly reduce Aldous and Leslie's damage and reflect a portion of their damage back to them which should be helpful in taking them down faster. Nonetheless, Flicker is not a bad battle spell and can be useful as a gap closer. After all, Hilda might have excellent movement speed, but she does not have any blink skills at all. In our opinion though, Flicker should never be your primary spell when playing as Hilda. It should only be used for very specific situations such as when there are multiple enemies with extraordinary mobility. Having Flicker can help you chase them down more effectively. In this game however, it wasn't as useful. After getting tough boots, we decided to complete Blade of Despair which is a great item to have for Hilda since it greatly improves her damage dramatically. Here, we overcommit to the team fight. Remember guys, once the objective has been taken, there is no point for you extending your stay or engaging in any more clashes. Since we overcommit to the fight, we lost our top turret. The cosmos our turret has been Next item we got was Antique Cuirass. We purchased that to make Aldous and Lancelot's damage less effective.
You're hopeless. Since the top lane's outer turret has been destroyed, it will be easier for us to help the team. Just keep the pressure and don't stay in one place idly when playing as an XP laner. The more pressure you exert on their lanes, the better. If you are an XP laner, don't bask in the glory of having the most kills. Remember, kills are not your priority. Your priority is effective lane management. And if you are effectively managing the lanes, you will be able to participate more and help in securing objectives and pushing. Why so grim? Clear a path, or catch my horns. Both of them barely dealt damage. In addition to having antique cuirass, that was mainly because of our level difference. As you can see, we had the highest level in the game and were two to four levels higher than the enemies. Efficient lane management is what made that possible. My axe is getting thirsty, you know. Take the Cyclone Eye from the enemies whenever your teammates are taking major objectives. Doing so will help make it harder for the enemies to steal the Lord. An ally has slain Lord! Clear up lane! Never turn down a good fight! Since our top lane minions already have lane advantage, we joined the team fight brewing in the jungle. We were supposed to save Brody by blocking Leslie's ultimate, but Aldous was able to stun us. Before we forget, this is the emblem configuration we had in the game. We chose the Assassin Emblem and Rupture which greatly complements Hilda's passive that reduces the target's defense every time she deals damage using basic attacks and skills. Festival of Blood was selected to give Hilda a little bit of HP sustain when attacking using her skills, and of course lethal ignition in order to help her take enemies down more effectively. Next item we got was Athena's Shield. That was purchased in order to prevent Eudora from dealing huge damage. As for our last item, we got Malefic Roar in order to bypass a huge percentage of their physical defense. Sadly, the game ended before we got the chance to experience it. As you can see, despite having average kills and assists, we managed to earn so much gold which allowed us to outmatch everyone in items. Not to mention that we reached level 15 first. That is the result of effectively and efficiently managing the lanes. Your team destroyed a turret! Why so grim? That concludes our Mobile Legends game guide for today. Did we miss any other recommendations? Leave your thoughts on the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.